What is going on guys, G Studios here, welcome back to another reaction video. So in this video we're going to be reacting to the horror short film called The Kid in the Camera. This has been blowing up all around social media, TikTok, YouTube, everywhere. So I said, hey, I'll give a reaction because it seems like that's pretty creepy. So we're going to go, it's an analog horror uh, short film and it is done by Grumbled Entertainment. So I'll link them down below. And let's get into it. I've heard it's pretty creepy. It's about seven and a half minutes long. So let's go. All right, we're gonna start in three, two, one. Tiny Toe. So this is like a real like company, which is really cool. Star Clock Stories. The Kid in the Camera. Once upon a star, there lived a boy named Caleb. Okay, okay. He was a happy little tot of six years old, and on his birthday, he received a very special gift. Special. What's oh, a his camera? Very own photo camera. This claymation is cool looking. Okay. So much that he took it out every day, snapping photos of anything he could. A picture here, a picture there. Until one look day, a terrible look accident like happened. Claymation. Oh, and... Did you break it? <laughs> and the camera broke. <sighs> oh, no. Caleb didn't sleep a wink. Didn't sleep Haunted at all. Haunted by thoughts of his once perfect camera late into the night. That was when a sudden sound caught his attention. Running? Is that running? I don't know. I don't like this like still image kind of stuff. Oh, it's his window. Oh, I don't like these things when like it gets closer. And there stood on the other side of Kalen's bedroom window a large winged creature. Hello there, young lad, greeted the creature. I'm the Kipsneed, your sleep fairy. Sleep, sleep fairy. fairy? That is correct, replied the Kipsneed. My Kip job is to make sure you get a good night's sleep. But it's come to my attention that you haven't been resting at all lately. I'd like to know the reason why. Kalen had never heard of a sleep fairy. My parents told me not to talk to strangers. Strangers? I'm no stranger. I know all the girls and boys around the globe. I know their parents, their homes, their names. Why? I even know your name, Caleb. Now, would a stranger know your name? Yeah. Caleb thought on it. Maybe. For a moment. No, I guess not. If you must know why I'm away. He's six years old. He's gonna easily manipulate it. It's my camera. It's broken. And just like that, tears welled up in Caleb's eyes. Let me see. Then the Kipsneed had an idea. His mouth goes. Why don't I get this camera fixed for you? <laughs> he just wide open his mouth. That would help you sleep easier. This thing looks so creepy, you man. Do that? I was the I never of liked those course, creepy, and like, I know these just creepy the looking place. things. A factory in my home world. I'll lead factory you to the portal. Home. Just follow my voice. And the Kipsneed disappeared into the night. Uh uh. I mean, I know he's six years old, but even. I don't. Oh no. Oh. Kalen followed close behind the Kipsney. Oh no. Snapping photos to mark the way in case of getting lost. Looks realistic, too. Over here. I can hear him talking. Over here. Oh. 
place is, and uh, let's look sort of child friendly now. Reached a house. Oh, that's the house. Oh, this is not child friendly anymore. This is dark. Seems quite abandoned, thought the boy. And dark, but there was the Kips Needs voice again, beckoning. The portal to my home world's inside. Come along. Nah, no, it's not. I must have my camera fixed. Oh, God. Oh, so, no, in spite of man. his obvious fright, Kalen marched into the home. His, the narrator's voice sounds more, like, sad now. He's like, Kalen marched into the home. Like, sad. Like, the narrator knows what's gonna happen. Oh, now we're doing this thing? It's like a slideshow. Oh, God. You can hear, like, the background noise now. It's not music anymore. No happy-go-lucky stuff. So where's the kip scene through all this? Oh, there he is. He's like lowering him down. He's like, come here, come on. Oh, oh God. Oh no. It's always a basement. All right, no portal down here, kid. I was gonna say, I was not the only one who heard that, right? Oh, I hate these slow turning shots. Just the character like slowly turning. Oh no, please don't jump scare me. Some weeks later, authorities discovered the basement. <gasps> the rest of the boy was never found. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was like one of the best analog horror videos I think I've ever seen. Jeez, guys, that was like, wow. Cause the reason why I had such an impact because of that like short horror film is that I've seen a lot of like different analog horror series, series, like series and videos. But I don't think I've ever had an analog horror series that actually impacts me like that. Like, I've seen, like, Mandela Catalog. I've seen Kane Pixel's Backrooms. I've seen the Smile Tapes. Those are all very terrifying, and they really know how to, like, make you feel uncomfortable. But this video just made you feel a way uh, more uncomfortable than I feel like I've ever felt before. Because it's just the fact that a grown man... I think dressed up as the Kipsney, whatever that thing was called, and lured the kid to his house. Like, oh, it's just so, like, it's so dark. And the fact that, like, it feels like, like, it feels like a company, like, or, like, the government decided to, like, make this tape to show, like, like parents, like, watch out their kids. And, like, I knew something was gonna go bad because I heard the narrator's voice as soon as he was saying, um, I'll play it on screen. So, in spite of his obvious fright, Kalen marched into the home. His voice went from like, like happy and soothing to like sadness and like, despite, like very low sadness. So that just really 
it really was creepy and like the slideshow of like all the pictures we actually saw the kips need so i guess maybe it dressed up maybe the guy dressed up but man and then the ending of like caleb turning around like very slowly like like this 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 like and then finally seeing the final shot of like you don't even know who it is you just see the final shot of like someone all black and just standing there um to compare it to Skinema Rink. Obviously, this is not as demonic and scary as Skinema Rink, but it definitely gives on the same feeling where, you know, you see adults get all this stuff like in Mandela Catalog and Kane Pixel's back rooms and Smile Tape. It's all older adults, but when you see kids like Skinema Rink and the kid in the camera, it's just so unsettling that it makes you, you just know that something is wrong and it it's just bad because kids don't have a fully developed brain and they don't know what to do or not they're so curious so i know it's not true but really like impacted me and like it made you feel purposely uncomfortable it's supposed there's not supposed to be any resolved in analog horror it's just supposed to terrify and just supposed to not resolve anything it's just the main purpose is to terrify so yeah that's gonna do it for this reaction you know a short little reaction reacting to a very very impactful terrifying horror film hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace out